Hey guys, Michelle Martin here with Proterra Produce. And if you guys have ever been at the grocery store and wondered, how do you pick out the perfect watermelon? Well, we're gonna show you today. With watermelon season right around the corner, there's no better time. You're right. Let's get to it. If I am at the grocery store, I'm looking for the perfect sweet watermelon. What are some telltale signs? What I do is I go look for a nice yellow belly on it. So this is where the melon lays on the ground. The yellower, the more mature and more ripe that melon is. Here's one that's got a nice yellow hue to it. This one I would pick. This one on the other hand, it's got kind of a white creamy color. This one I believe is probably still a little bit immature. So the more yellow, the better? The more yellow, the better. The more mature, the sweeter that fruit's gonna be. That's good to know. So this part of the fruit is called the stem end. Uh, this is where it connects to the vine and grows. This end is the blossom end where the flower starts. So the difference between this fruit and this piece of fruit is this one is dead. You feel it, it's dead, it's brown, it's kind of sunken in. So it's that, really easy just to rip It's off. easy. This one came off the vine pretty easily. This one still has some stem attached, which tells us that vine wasn't ready to let go of that piece of fruit yet. So this one, in my opinion, is probably still a little bit immature versus this one. Okay, Trevor, I think it too, a common misconception, and I'm guilty of it, is when we go grocery shopping, I tend to look for the darker green melon thinking it's gonna be better, but that's not the case, right? That is not the case. So the exterior color is a lot of times specific to that variety that's grown. This one is a lighter color. This is a deeper, greener color. Makes no piece of fruit better than the other. It's just that specific variety. So it's all about variety. It's, it's not all about, about the sweetness or better watermelon. Right, it's about what variety is conducive for your area of growing, which for us is South Texas. Okay, so a lot of times too, guys, and I'm sure y'all have done this too if you shop for watermelons, you get into the bin and you're, you're listening. What are we listening for? So you're listening for kind of a hollow th thump, I guess. Okay. You want a little bit, you want to feel like it's kind of echoing back to you. Okay. If you hit one and it kind of sounds like a thud, like it's, it's, it's a little bit dense on the inside, that's not that fruit is not gonna be your best one. You want one that kinda of has a little bit of an echo to it when, okay. you, when you thump it. So basically, like when we're thumping and you say it echoes, it's like, pick me, pick me. That's right. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, Trevor. Well, thank you for feeding me this watermelon. I'm gonna take it home. But next stop, I guess, is we're gonna to go to the fields and see exactly how watermelons are harvested. And then we'll progress to the shed and then you guys will know how to pick out the perfect watermelon and where it came from. That's right. We'll see you guys next time. God bless.